Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on Where the Hunter, we're at Tickamoon Plains and we're going on my first Gems Book hunt. Now, I've been wanting to hunt these for a while. I've been watching a four star Gems Book, as you've probably seen in my Hyena video. Check that out if you haven't already seen it. And we're going to see today if he's made five star. If not, we're going to kill one of the others and let him live for a bit longer. Hello, Mr. Kudu. <laughs> what are you doing there? Now, we haven't come for Kudu. But I have got a mission on Kudu. I can't remember what it's called, but we have got one currently we've got to do. I think it's with a bow. Um, married with children, I think it's called. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. Married with children. Right. It's got harvest a male greater Kudu that weighs 250 kilos. Right, so basically, mm, we could do that. I have got the bow on. But I do want to hunt for the Gems box, so... I think we might do that next. Uh, he's tempted. He's only just there. But that's the big group of the Gemsbok. We're near where we got the basically the hyena. So we're going to see today if he's a level 5. I'm hoping he is. It's been a few days and he was a 4 mature Gemsbok. So hopefully he's made 5. And if he has, we'll shoot him today. If not, we'll leave him for a few days and we'll get him in the next video. If he makes it, as I said in the last video he's gonna die by old age or by a bullet <laughs> so one of the ways he's going out how's your hunting been this week on way the hunter are you enjoying tickling planes let me know in the comments have you had any rears any five stars have you been on other maps as well i've been on nez pierce this week doing bits and bobs i need to go to transylvania aurora shores i've not been there for a little while so i'm gonna mix it up a little bit and uh Basically, just let me know in the comments what you want to see next. But yeah, we've got some bow missions to do. So we're doing some more bow hunting soon. But at the minute, five-star Gemsbok is on my, hopefully, fingers crossed, list to get. So we'll see if he's made a five or not soon. He's only just in front of us. There's quite a lot of Gemsbok around here. Lions, hyenas. Um, what's this? Is this hyenas or lions? Lions. So there's a new discovery there but yeah there's a lot of good animals in this area springbok as well but yeah there's a lot of variety in this area it's a left middle area of the map of Tickamoon plains so give it a go if then already i've opened up quite a few campsites and places now and uh, i'm sort of discovering more and more i'm gonna try and get some five stars of a few of the species soon start herd managing a bit more but generally i just wander around if you if you're new to watching me I generally just wander around hunting and shoot what I actually find. I try not to focus too much on trophy hunting in Way the Hunter. I do get trophies in Way the Hunter, but generally it's about the hunt, not the actual stars of the animal. I'm having lots of fun at Tickamoon Plains. But yeah, I was at Nez Pierce Valley the other day having a lot of fun. Um, I still want to get... Um, an albino whitetail, that's one animal I haven't got and I've been trying to get for a long time. A five star moose, definitely been trying to get those but I've only had up to three stars on the moose so I need to focus a little bit more on those two. I wouldn't mind going to Transylvania, going after an albino red deer. So there's a few animals I've got in my mind I would actually like to get for the trophy lodge. What's your most wanted trophy animal in Way of the Hunter? Let me know in the comments. Is it an albino cape buffalo? A leucistic lion? That's just changed. There used to be albinos, now they're leucistic. Let me know in the comments. We had an update the other day. So, it's always been updated. Where the hunter, it's only going to get better and better. We're only one year old. We've got four maps. Lots of content. Updates regular. This is only going to get better and better. I know a lot of people want certain things added. And like I say, if you want anything added, let me know in the comments what you want added. Um, maybe the devs may see it if it's a common theme and maybe that'll happen if you join where the hunter official discord lots of friendly people there but drop your comments like that for content you want in there if you put a good enough explanation a detailed one it may happen and it does happen so if you've got any good ideas drop it in there and like i say join where the hunter official discord lots of us go in there daily chatting away we give tips to people help each other out if we're struggling it's a really friendly place. So I was hoping it was going to make five star. It looks like he's still four. 
So we're not going to shoot him today. I was hoping it was going to be a five star. And on my first hunt we get a five star Gems book. That would have been ideal wouldn't it? But Lady Luck has not given us that. But he's still alive as you can see. So what we'll do is I'm going to leave him for now. We'll shoot one of the other Gems book. Because I want to learn about the encyclopedia. Learn all about the need zones and things. Because it does help people out who watch. They might not have hunted them. So they know when to hunt them. So I'm going to pick out one of these of the group. We'll take them out with the 338. I think they are tier 6, which we'll soon learn in a minute. I haven't hunted them yet, but I know they're either 5 or 6. So we're going to use the 338 and try and take one down. So there we go. We're about 200 meters, which is ideal. This is the sort of average sort of distance shot I take. 200 to 250 meters. Um, nice and steady. Never rush your shots if you can help it. Because of the tracking and how it can be, you want to make sure you take your time, make a clean shot. It's a nice clean shot. That's how I like it. That's why you take your time, get your shot ready. Go in collecting. Hey, oh. <laughs> He's the applet. <Whoa. laughs> and that's why we need pistols in game. That was close. He nearly got me. He was fast. There was a little delay there on the audio. Sorry for that. It's just shadow play. It does it every now and again. You can't really help it. But yeah, I can't believe that. He nearly he nearly just trampled me. <laughs> At least they've done the uh, mule deers now. The mule deers was even worse. The other day I was saying I was on Nez Pierce Valley hunting them. And uh, they had 10 mule deer attack me at once. And uh, they, they basically done me over. <laughs> but now in the latest update, they've toned the mule deers down. We've got a honey badger over there. Keeps calling out that we're here for Gems Book today. Have you hunted honey badgers yet? I did a hunt for them. Check the video out if you've already seen it. Top right hand corner campsite. Absolutely snided with them. There's about 15, 20 of them all around that campsite. They're everywhere. But they're a lot of fun. And uh, it'd be nice to go bow hunting them. I've got to actually do a mission where you've got to bow hunt one. I think it was a three star through the lungs, I think it was, uh, for the objective mission. But uh, we've got to do that. So we'll, we'll be going there at some point. Just got to let them mature a bit. I think most of them was all one stars there and you need a three star for the mission objective. So let's take a picture for the thumbnail using the drone. Very useful. I love this. It's one of my favourite editions, I often say this, but you don't get how useful it is for someone like me just to get a thumbnail for the video. Um, it's good for people as well to do trophy shots. It would be nice if we could position the animals as well in trophy poses, like in classic and things like that. So that would be a good addition if they add that in the future to where the hunter would you like that. So you had different trophy poses for the animals. So like now you could stand it up, position it how you wanted. It would be really nice, I'd like that added. So there we go. Our first Gems book. Nice clean shot. 338. Left lung. I'm surprised that hasn't gone through both, to be honest. It looks like it's gone through both, but it says left lung. But that is a nice clean shot. That's how I like to do it. One shot. I always feel a bit guilty if I do two shots. There we go, male, bad genetics, so it's a good reason we took him out as well, actually, for herd management. Maybe we'll get something nice in its place. So what did we lose? So we lost 14.5 kilo of meat, which isn't that bad, really. They're quite big, Gems Buck. They're very pretty as well. But there we go, 377, so they're not bad money either, really. And there's the trophy score. So we'll sell him. And now we've unlocked the encyclopedia. So let's have a look at that, shall we? We'll learn all about them. So really helpful for people that haven't hunted Gemsbok. This is where we are, as I said. This area is really good for lions, hyenas, Gemsboks, uh, honey badgers, springboks. There's a lot of variety in this sort of area. As you can see, I'm trying to move down this sort of left-hand side, open up this sort of area, see what we've got down here. And let's go to the encyclopedia. So what tier are they? Five or six? So they're not five, they must be six. Where are they? Ah, there they are. So there you go, they are tier six.
the gemsbok. Native to arid regions of southern Africa, the gemsbok is widely hunted for its spectacular horns. The name of the species is from Afrikaans, originating from the Dutch word of the same spelling, meaning male chamois. Their hunting tier 6, recommended hit energy, as you can see. Right, let's go on to the need zone times life cycle. So we was hunting between sort of drinking and resting, but as you can see, these are the need zone times that you want to be checking out. But yeah, I've been checking them during the drinking and resting need zone times. That's when I was actually hunting them just now. So animal weights. So young, one to three years old, up to 160 kilo for a male, 120 kilo for a female, a mature male, 10 to 20 years. If you imagine, if you make 20 years with all the lions, hyenas and that, you've done well. On up to 240 kilo. And 210 for a female. So body variations. As they age, their heads get lower. Males tend to have thicker horns with larger bases. Females have slightly longer, thinner horns. So it's a good way to tell them apart. Primary habitat, arid savanna and desert. Secondary habitat, highlands and savanna. Trophy type horns and trophy ranges. Let me just scroll down, are there. So as you can see, that's all the details for the Gems book. We got one on our first hunt. I'm going to carry on hunting for that four star. Hopefully he makes a five star. If he does, I'll make a video. If not, we'll have to try and find another. So I'm Ramit Tube. We've been playing Way the Hunter at Tickaboon Plains. Hunting for Gems book. Great hunt. Enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to YouTube channels. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.